what are the long term consequences, what are the long term policy measures that we might need to take. To discuss this with us, we have D. Raghunandan, who has been studying these issues for a long time and also part of the All India People's Science Network. Raghu, can you tell us that a lot of this issue seem to stem from the climatic conditions or the weather conditions at this particular point of time. And it seems to start with what would be the problem that has been identified as due to temperature inversion. Can you tell us what it means and what the consequences of inversion, temperature inversions are? We would know that uh, normally in winter, the cold air tends to settle to the bottom. And uh, in winter, therefore, you do have a cold uh, layer but you have what is called an inversion effect. Normally, you would get warm air moving upwards. But in winter, you get the warm air sitting there and the cold air unable to rise above it and therefore settling down at a lower level and keeping all the pollutants uh, closer to ground than they would earlier. So you and I, when we walk on the street, would breathe in far more pollutants that you would in the summer when the warm air would have carried it up. So it's because the earth cools relatively right. and if the sun during the day is unable to cool, uh, heat the earth, yeah. then that, that seems to continue yeah. this problem. Of so there are two brush. problems in the winter time as it is now. One is the temperature effect, which is the cold air staying down. And the other is that if there is no wind, which will actually pick up later on in the winter. Uh, if there is no wind and there's still air, then everything stays where it is. When the cold winter winds start blowing, it will carry the pollutants away. So it will break up the inversion layer. If That's, right. Wind. That's right. Also, if there are rains? Yes, the rains will bring down the particulate uh, matter because uh, around the particulate matter, the droplets uh, will form and they are heavy enough to bring the particulates down. However, if there is no rain, but there are fog conditions, then what happens is you do get uh, moisture, little droplets, which coalesce around the aerosols or particulate matter, which makes them denser and makes them hang in the air even more. Uh, so if there's very dry, wintry conditions, you'll have less of this problem. If there is rains, then you have less of this problem. But if you have still cool air with moisture, that's the worst of all possibilities, which is what we are going through now. 